Well, look at you, old jolly. You love your American costume. I do. Don't I you? do. I Why do. Why is it booming? Uh, well, it's in a plentiful supply. You can get, you can easily get it. It's affordable. Um, and it's just beautiful. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it suits it's you beautifully yeah, as well. Does it, I hope I have just picked up a piece of American. Have you I? You have, you have. I could, because this it's is not a, my field, this is you. This is a piece of Margot Townsend. Right. Matching earrings, um, made in the USA, Swarovski crystal. Wow. So, um, and um, a, a very reasonable price. 100 quid? No. How much? It's thirty-eight pounds. Really? For though that and the matching earrings. It's no money, is it? It isn't any money. No. I mean, there are several different designers for yeah. costume jewelry. You can go from this sort of price right up to the thousands. Show me something different as well. Um, a bit wild and wild. Well, these both are very different. Oh. This is a more current American costume jewelry maker. Right. Um. Uh, this is um, a Sweet Romance, mm. um, which you could buy online in America years ago, mm. 30 years ago. Um, but she's the, this lady who designs these have been designing for quite some time. And I understand used to design for some of the film companies. Oh, a bit of Hollywood glamour. A bit of Hollywood oh, glamour, sorry. yeah. We love a bit of Hollywood um, glamour, don't we? And we do, we do. And these are her design, very unusual, um, and uh, just a, a bracelet, a cuff bracelet, which you can wear. Um, but they are 1990s, you know, they're not very old. Whereas some of the really old costume jewelry, you coming, harking back to the 50s, yeah. where they're beautiful jewels, and they used to make them to emulate diamonds. Of course. So when you were walking the red carpet yes. in LA and going, and going to the Oscars, yeah. you were wearing uh, something like Eisenberg because it emulated um, real diamonds. Yeah. And uh, so I understand that some of the stars used to wear um, the, the uh, costume jewellery yeah. rather than the real thing. And do you think that's what made costume jewellery very popular and desirable? I think it did. I think it, I think it did. But also you can go back a bit further and go back to the 20s right. and, um, and the 30s. And uh, there was a lot of, in the flappy years, there was a lot of, the 20s was a lot of costume jewellery. I mean, it's a fabulous subject. And, and the USA is a hive mm. of of these designers. They're all from the USA, and it's a hive of designers. And you're selling every single piece you can get hold of. I am. I am. These are the only ones I've got in this cabinet as we speak. And, and where are you selling them to? Is it Britain, Europe, or are you selling them back to America? I am selling some of them back to America, yes, absolutely. Wow. And um, I'm, I'm sort of hopefully teaching us over here mm. uh, in the UK just how glorious these American pieces are. My goodness me. I'll put your contact details in the video so people can yeah. get in touch with you. You're marvellous. Right. Linda, thank you, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you.